Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and this time it's my monthly collected haul of everything that's made its way into my wardrobe this month. Quite a lot of the things this month have actually been kindly gifted to me so I'll be sure to specify which ones I've bought and which ones have been very kindly gifted. If you like this makeup look that I've got on, I've actually also filmed me doing a get ready with me so that'll be next week's video hopefully if I can get that edited in time and yeah I'll be going through what I used and how I created this makeup look so if you are into makeup up then keep a look out on my channel next week and you'll be able to see this one without me going on anymore i'll just get on with showing you the outfits i've done it again the way that i did my last monthly collected haul which i styled up five outfits this time and every single one of the outfits can give you some inspiration on what to wear and it also features either one or more items that i've included in my wardrobe this month i thought i'd wear these new earrings as well too for you because i actually picked these up at work yesterday because i forgot to put my earrings in yesterday so i think that that was just a sign that I needed to buy some new earrings so that's the first item that I've ended up picking up this month and I'll just get on with showing you everything else that I've bought don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll just get on with it so the first outfit consists of two gifted items well actually three if you include the mod shoes tights which I was gifted um, a while ago I've had these for a while now but the first item you'll recognize from my Relco clothing haul which is this one of the three shirts that I was gifted by them I absolutely love this one I love the fit of them and I've worn all of the shirts that I've been gifted by them which you'll see the rest of them later on I've worn them all quite a lot of times and I'm really happy with them and I'm so glad that I finally managed to try Velcro clothing and the second item is this sort of pleather skirt it's originally from Primark but it was actually gifted to me by the homeless charity Emmaus and they are doing a charity kilo sale which is going to be actually just £5 per kilo which is amazing quality I've never known a kilo sale be that affordable and they wanted to gift me a couple of items so that I can give you a sneak peek into what you could pick up at the kilo sale. It's going to be on the 16th of July which is my birthday and I can leave all the address and the information about it in the description box down below. I'm going to be talking more about it on Instagram and TikTok so if you want to check out both of my Instagram and TikTok channels they're also down in the description box as well but this is one of the items that they gifted to me. Like I said originally it's from Primark and I've never actually had a pleather skirt before I've got a vinyl one but that's a little bit more punk whereas I think this one just looks great with a shirt and I've paired it with like I said my mod shoes tights and just my burgundy loafers which were two pound from vintage and that is outfit number one next up is an item that I feel like I've been on the lookout for basically my whole life and it's the perfect pair of Levi's star press trousers so hopefully I can be all in shot but I can't really see from how far away I am but it's a black pair of Levi's star press trousers I got them second hand from Vinted and they still had the tags on and everything and they were only £15 so they fit amazingly. There's no stretch in these so if you are looking for a pair of Levi's Star Press I recommend maybe going up um, a size on the waist so I'm usually 28 waist but I actually got 30 in these and they're the perfect fit as you can probably see. I paired them with another new item in my wardrobe which is this Relco two tone tonic shirt and it's one of my favourites, it's definitely like so unique the fact that it's two different colours in one and on top of it it goes great with my Gabici and Modfather Argyle tank top with of course my Solivare boots, you can't really see the whole boot when I've got them on but if I sit down and my trouser leg rides up a little bit you can tell that I've got my boots on so this outfit is probably the most me outfit of all of them and I really can't wait to wear it out again. The next outfit is on the more casual route and it's my Rude Pride t-shirt which I featured in my band t-shirt collection and I've gone more casual with this charity shop skirt that I picked up it's originally from New Look and I love green and orange together I mentioned this in pretty much every video that I do but I just think that the neon green and the orange look really good together and I just paired it with knee high socks and my Solivare boots which I think that boots and knee high socks together just looks really cool and it'll keep you cooler in the summer as well so this is my next outfit and actually I've got another gifted item to add to it as well I can't believe that I almost forgot it but it's this new Bobby brand bag which I was gifted by Bobby Brand for talking about them on my um, small brands to support video and it goes perfectly with this outfit because of the orange and the black I think it's called the clockwork orange 
bag if I'm not mistaken but paired together with this outfit it's just such a perfect complement to it and you can get some discount on Bava brand bags with the code GOASKELLIS I'll leave it down in the description so you can check it out but massively massively recommend this brand I've got four of their bags now which is a bit crazy but yeah this is my next outfit Another gifted item from the homeless charity at Emmaus is these um, kind of dog's tooth trousers. I think they're dog's tooth or maybe a bit more hound's tooth. I'm not sure what the difference is. But it's actually quite crazy how they managed to pick out items that I actually really love. And I've just paired them with another item which is the third and final Relco shirt that I received from them. With my burgundy braces, I kind of wanted to put navy ones but I feel like I'd be looking for them all day because they seem to have just vanished into thin air. So I've got my burgundy braces and my burgundy boots so it kind of does tie the whole thing in anyway. And yeah, these trousers fit really well. They are originally from Max and Spencer so obviously they're going to be given that great quality as well. And I love to pat and clash so I feel like this is a great way to do it with hands tooth being pretty much a neutral anyway in my opinion. So if you are wanting to get a little bit more adventurous with your dressing and then try a hands tooth or a gingham check something like that or even a tartan and put it with a different pattern shirt and I feel like it just looks like you've really tried a little bit harder but still you can feel quite comfortable in wearing them as well too. Finally my fifth and final outfit is one that consists mostly of new items which if you follow me on Instagram you will have already seen because I posted a picture of this basically this whole outfit and if I start from the top I've got my chisel retaliation t-shirt I featured this in my bun t-shirt collection haul and it's just got this green print on it so I thought that that would look amazing with my new Solovar loafers because the green and the green just look great together and I love a little bit of coordination I've also got these boot cut Levi's they're vintage I got them from my work, I work in a vintage shop and they already actually came with a crease and the little turn up so that's actually sewn in there and I've been looking for a pair like this, they're very big on the waist, I think they're a 34 inch waist so I've got this Wrangler belt as well, I wore these two together in my last get ready with me when I went to go and see the chisel actually um, so yeah this whole outfit together denim colour is just like an exact match so for me that's the best way that I like to do double denim if you don't like double denim you need to think about your life because it's like my favourite way to just look so put together and this is my final outfit featuring my new items from this month and that's everything that's made its way into my wardrobe this month let me know which one was your favourite piece and which outfit that you liked the most and I'll see you again for next week's video bye